Président, veuillez vous asseoir. L'audience est ouverte. Today, the chamber will hear a witness to TCW 1000. Un témoin de TCW 1000. Greffier, Ms. Chiesewang, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceeding. Greffier. Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Mr. Nguyen Chia is present Monsieur in the Nguyen holding cell downstairs. He has waived temporaire. his rights to be present in the courtroom. The, the courtroom waiver has been delivered to the greffier. The witness who is to greffier. testify today to TCW 1000 confirms that to the best of his knowledge, he has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused, that is Nguyen Chia, Kyu Sumpon, or to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. The witness took a note before the, the, the Iron Club statue this morning, and he is now in the waiting room waiting to be called by the chamber. Thank you. President. Thank you, Ms. Jiesu Huang. Merci, the Chamber now decides on the request by Nguyen Chia. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nguyen Chia dated 16 Nguyen Chia December 2015, which states that due to his health, santé, headache, back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long. And in order to effectively participate in future proceedings, he requests to waive his right to be to participate in and be present at the 16 December 2015 hearing. Having seen the medical report of Nguyen Chia by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC, dated 16 December 2015, who knows that Nguyen Chia today has back pain when he sits for long and uh, dizziness. And the doctor recommends that the chamber grant le him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nguyen Chia his request to follow today's proceeding remotely from the Holding cell downstairs via audiovisual means. This applies to the whole day. AV unit personnel are instructed to link the proceeding to the room downstairs so that he can follow the proceeding. Now the chamber would like to pro uh, give the floor to the defendants for Mr. Nunchia. I note that uh, he would like uh, to make uh, the, the submission yesterday, but uh, the floor was not given yesterday, and now you have the floor. You may proceed. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, Council. Um, yes, indeed, I would like um, to make a few submissions um, in relation to a witness who testified here uh, 13 days ago, on the 3rd of December 2015. De uh, that person was uh, named Prak Dun. Prak Dun. And, um, Mr. President, you might recall that in the morning um, there was a discussion about certain questions um, I, I, I wanted to ask this particular witness. Um, he had earlier gave testimony about um, the killing Il of his wife, uh, um, his Vietnamese wife, uh, sur, uh, indicating that the killing was done um, by uh, cadres from, from the village or from the, village the, the region. Um, when, I, when it was my turn to ask him questions, I wanted to know from him whether he was ever um, accused um, of having um, killed his own wife. Um, and you might remember that um, when I was asked by Judge Fenz why I was asking this question, um, I answered that that question was triggered 
by something that he had, sell, he had said himself uh, in his um, sur le party application, E3-4989. Uh, I argued then that um, spontaneously, out of the blue, he offered um, in his uh, application, and I quote again, I would like to deny that the Khmer Rouge ever forced me to kill my Vietnamese wife in order for me to survive. I swear that this was not true. Um, the questions that I wanted to ask, uh, like I said, was, um, were, were you ever accused of being um, involved yourself in the killing of your wife, and uh, were there ever any criminal proceedings against you in the early 80s? Um, all those questions were about the reliability of this witness. Uh, as I said, as you might remember, I was uh, prohibited uh, from asking these questions. Uh, however, uh, at a later stage, um, we stumbled upon uh, another civil party la suite, application. Nous avons trouvé that is after the witness has gone. De parti civil, et ça, it's a um, handwritten uh, civil party uh, application, or rather a victim statement. Ou plutôt une déclaration um, a statement de victime, written uh, manuscrit. and uh, drafted, as it seems, by the same lawyer as the lawyer of um, uh, Brad Dune. Uh, this um, victim statement is um, uh, numbered E3-4732. Uh, and um, the English version is the original. Uh, the English version has uh, the thumbprint on it, and on English page 00427379, this particular civil party um, says the following, and I quote, uh, I know of one Khmer husband who was ordered forced to kill his Vietnamese wife under threat of being killed himself. His name was Mr. Ga Dun. He was not ordered to kill his two mixed children. He killed his first wife by taking her somewhere and beating her on the head. He is still alive and lives in Boribor district in my area, Kampong district province. He now has another wife and one of his daughters. Il a maintenant une autre épouse um, et des filles. The, the name Dune, Donc le nom uh, Boribor District, Kampong uh, Chang Province, is province the same Chunang, district that uh, Prak Dune is from. Vient um, now, the, reasons, uh, the reason I'm asking, making these submissions, Mr. President, is that I would like to get clarification La raison from the special elite co-lawyers for the civil parties, whether they know uh, that person referred to si in la uh, E3-4732, Gadun uh, is indeed the same person en fait la même as Prak Dun. Prak Dun. Um, if this is indeed um, if this civil party is indeed referring to Prak Dun, si la uh, was this something Dun, that uh, council, the civil party council, who is lawyer for both people, was that something that she knew at the time? La même de ces deux um, de ces deux civiles, le and depending on the answers or the clarifications hopefully provided um, to us and the chamber uh, by the civil party lawyers uh, who uh, assist us uh, in reaching a decision de to uh, recall or not recall de uh, de ou non because um, the question whether he was himself involved in the killing, that he actually killed his wife la question, la himself, si goes, épouse, of course, directly to his reliability, la because here, uh, in, this, um, trial, in this courtroom, he said that he uh, had nothing to do with that, or, or rather, he said that uh, it were other people cela, en fait, who uh, did the killing of his wife. Um, so, I hope my submissions are clear, Mr. President. President, thank you.
Merci. Uh, Mr. Co-Procureur, do you have something to address the Chamber in the regards to the submission made by the defense counsel? Les co ont-ils quelque chose à dire sur ce que vient d'exprimer la défense? Um, Your Honor, I have uh, nothing to add. The only question I have is the document that counsel referred to that came to his attention recently. How long has that been in the possession of uh, the defense? That is the civil party application that they think might refer to the witness who's testified and uh, already. What about a legal lawyer for civil parties? Do you have uh, responses to make? Please wait. Uh, you have the floor first. Judge Lavergne. You can now proceed, Judge Lavergne. Juste une demande à, à mettre côté pour que les choses soient parfaitement claires. Mais sans me souvenir, le son ne m'entend pas très bon, je ne sais pas si c'est le cas pour tout le monde. Est-ce que vous m'entendez Il y a beaucoup de fritures sur la ligne, je ne sais pas si vous m'entendez. C'est peut-être uniquement sur le canal français. Il y a effectivement de la friture sur le canal français, en tout cas de mon côté. Ouais. Et a priori sur tous les canaux, si j'ai bien compris. Tous les canaux, pardon. Alors, peut-être que ce microphone marche mieux. Oui. Bien, c'est juste une question à mettre copier pour que les choses soient parfaitement claires. Il semble me souvenir que ce témoin a répondu à vos questions concernant le fait de savoir s'il avait été accusé et s'il avait tué ou non son épouse vietnamienne. Est-ce bien le cas Um, if you read the transcript, what, what the witness um, si does answer is that he talked to people seeming to imply uh, um, si government officials in the early 80s. Um, but my question is as to whether he ever was in prison contre, or in jail or whether he was ever si criminally prosecuted. All those questions were not allowed by poursuite. the Les juges pas, um, ne pas permis de poser ces questions -là. So, um, I think these questions, um, in the light possibly of uh, that new Donc, or, 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 or the civil party application um, that I just mentioned, should have been allowed, uh, providing, of course, that this um, de vous montrer, um, uh, je pense aurait dû me permettre de poser mes questions. Bien, bien sûr, cela dépend du... Il faut savoir si Pragdeun et la personne Agdeun dans la déclaration sont en effet la même personne. Président, thank you. Now the floor is Merci. given to la Chambre de la la parole aux avocats principaux pour les parties civiles. To make response to the submissions Vous made by the defense team for Mr. Nguyen et Mr. Kopa. Vos observations de Maître Kopa. Merci, Thank Monsieur le Président, you, et bonjour à tous. Pour être très honnête, je ne vois pas sur quel fondement notre confrère se base pour nous intimer à nous, avocats des partis civils ou co-avocats des partis civils, de lui fournir cette information. Si la Chambre nous intimait de le faire, euh, je veux bien, mais je ne vois pas pourquoi je répondrai aujourd'hui aux injonctions de la Défense dans la mesure où je ne vois pas dans quel cadre juridique cela s'inscrit. Libre à la défense de euh, soumettre une nouvelle demande sur la base de l'article 87.4 du règlement intérieur, mais je ne vois pas comment euh, il pourrait en être autrement. Une observation sur euh, le document qui est euh, aujourd'hui utilisé par notre confrère Copé. Ce document est 
dans well, this euh, le dossier uh, depuis de nombreuses années déjà. Il a fait partie was, um, des documents proposés dans nos listes dès 2011, avant la disjonction et depuis dans notre liste de juillet 2014. Donc c'est un document qui est accessible à toutes les parties depuis fort, fort longtemps. Ce n'est pas un nouveau document. Et puis je constate que les informations données par cette partie civile ne correspondent pas à M. Pragdun. On parle de M. K. Doun. Il ne s'agit pas de M. Pragdun. Il est indiqué ici que sa femme a survécu. Pragdun nous a dit de manière très extensive que sa femme n'avait pas survécu, etc. etc. Donc ma proposition est la suivante. Si la Chambre estime que je dois donner ces informations, je les donnerai, mais je veux être clair du cadre procédural dans lequel nous inscrivons. Sinon, libre à la Défense de faire une demande écrite pour demander l'arrêt audition de M. Pragdun et à ce moment-là, nous répondrons de manière à la demande de la défense de Nouchia sur la base de l'article 87.4. Je ne suis pas sûr si je suis allowed une uh, uh, réponse courte, M. le Président. Si vous me permettez de répliquer, um, M. le Président. Uh, lead lawyer, civil, the civil party is referring to because this je ne sais pas à quoi faire référence pour le cas de pensée. Um, Je ne sais pas à quoi faire référence pour le cas de pensée. Je ne sais pas à quoi faire référence pour le cas de pensée. Je ne sais pas à quoi faire référence pour le cas de pensée. Je ne sais pas à quoi faire référence pour le cas de pensée. Je ne sais pas à quoi faire référence pour le cas de pensée. Je ne sais pas à quoi faire référence pour le cas de pensée. Pragdun himself, he says, I swear I didn't do that, de de Pragdun, um, où il jure I swear this is the truth. Fait. And he offered that explanation in his own civil party application. So, so if it's the same person, and it really looks like it is the same Donc, person, si même personne, uh, then again, it goes directly to the reliability yeah, of this uh, civil party. Um, of course, there is no way um, of forcing Uh, the civil party lawyers to Certes, give information as to whether these two persons are the same, I understand that. Um, pour uh, but si de la même personne, uh, ça, je le I would like to remind uh, the lead co-lawyer that if this is the case, this might be si uh, the le situation le of conflicting interests. Uh, uh, and uh, we will think about whether we should um, take this matter to the Australian et bar. Um, however, we do not want, uh, wish to uh, go that far at all. Uh, we just would like to have the information whether this person is indeed the same cause, person nous, as, uh, as Pragdun. Si um, Pragdun and if this, these submissions don't go anywhere today, then si we will request a um, recall of Pragdun, uh, Pragdun uh, later, at, at a later stage. Merci. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Merci, Juste une, une courte réponse uh, pour answer, euh, however, expliquer, je pense, une, une confusion. La traduction en français de euh, la constitution de partie civile de cette, euh, de cette partie civile, donc E3-4732, est différente en anglais et en français. Et en français, il est indiqué que c'est elle, donc c'est la femme, qui a survécu et qui vit dans le district de Boribo, alors que dans la version en anglais, il est indiqué que c'est lui qui vit toujours et qui vit dans le district de Boribo, raison pour laquelle je disais qu'elle avait survécu sur la base du document en français. J'espère que mon, mon confrère me, me suit dans la traduction. C'est en tout cas ce qui est indiqué dans la traduction en français de la application. Killed his first Il wife a tué sa première by taking her somewhere and beating her on the head. He is still alive Il and lives in Boribo district, in district my area. De Boribo, He now has de another wife. Il a une That épouse. seems quite obvious to me. Ça me semble assez évident. Je suis entièrement d'accord avec vous, confrère, mais j'expliquais simplement pourquoi j'avais indiqué qu'elle était toujours en vie. C'est parce que je lisais à ce moment précis le document en français, raison pour laquelle 
euh, j'ai indiqué ceci alors que c'est effectivement différent dans la version originale en anglais. C'est juste pour, pour clarifier cette, cette difficulté. Sur le fait de savoir si euh, les avocats des parties civiles ou les co-avocats principaux ont l'obligation de dévoiler à la Chambre euh, si cette personne est bien la même personne, je m'en réfère à l'appréciation de la Chambre. Si la Chambre souhaite formellement nous consulter pour savoir s'il existe un conflit d'intérêts, nous nous pirons bien évidemment aux demandes de la Chambre. Dans l'attente, je considère qu'il appartient à la défense de Nouméchéa de faire une demande sur la base de la règle intérieure 87.4 pour nous permettre de répondre par écrit. President, le président. Thank you for addressing the chamber, and the chamber will take all the submissions and responses to into consideration in due course. Et la chambre en tiendra compte en temps utile. And particularly during the time that there are no hearings. Surtout pendant les vacances judiciaires. Now the chamber proceeds to hear two TCW 1000. À présent, nous Before allons entendre le témoin de TCW 1000. The chamber invites 1000. the witness into the courtroom. Avant de faire entrer le témoin dans la salle d'audience, la chambre souhaite is indiquer aux parties que le témoin est interviewé par les experts de l'investigation et que cette personne a été entendue uh, pendant l'instruction is uh, being requested to apply to this witness. De, de And, de, une demande de mesure uh, de protection however, a été the uh, protective uh, measure is to be balanced with uh, the needs la mesure de enfin, les mesures de protection to doivent se faire uh, dans le respect de l'équilibre in public and uh, the integrity Avec of la the investigation. Des audiences. And party is reminded to be careful when using document E319-3. Court officers, you are instructed to invite to TCW 1000 into the courtroom. La chambre rappelle au parti de faire attention lorsque font référence au document E319-3. Et à présent, demande au huissier de faire entrer le témoin dans la salle d'audience. President, good morning, Mr. Witness. President, Mr. Witness, good morning. The news that the witness vient d'apprendre que le témoin.
UT Council uh, This witness has the UT Council with him. La Chambre vient so I would like uh, to ask the uh, court officers who invite the duty council into the courtroom so that uh, he can sit along with uh, the witness. Mr. Witness, during the hearings and based on the request of uh, the co-investigating judge, uh, I was at the chamber is asked to refer you to your pseudonym to TCW. 1000 or de vous, a witness. De à vous sous votre so de TCW, parties uh, together with the chamber are not allowed to use your surname and uh, your first name in public during the proceedings. Now the chamber would like to ask uh, bravely your background in document. E319 slash 23.48 on page 2. Page Court two. officer, uh, rather, uh, uh, Greffier, please uh, show Greffier. Uh, the highlighted uh, points Veuillez on page number 2 to the witness concerning uh, the background of the witness, uh, full name, uh, parents' name, uh, birth of place, place of birth, so on and so forth. And uh, Mr. Witness, I would like to instruct you to tell the chamber on the points uh, which uh, are not incorrect. If it is correct, it is okay, and you can inform the chamber accordingly. Si tout est conforme, alors veuillez en informer la Chambre. Monsieur le témoin, savez-vous lire et écrire Answer. Yes, I know how to read, but not well. President, so please uh, read all the highlighted uh, sentences and points and tell me whether or not uh, they are correct. And if they are all correct, you can uh, tell me so. Si les informations sont correctes, veuillez nous le confirmer. Bad. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Everything is correct Tout here, correct. including my full name. Y compris mon nom complet. President. President. Greffier, please uh, uh, get the uh, document back and. Greffier. Veuillez reprendre le document qui a été présenté au témoin. To the best knowledge of uh, the. Witness, the witness has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused uh, and to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. Is, the, is this correct? Witness, that is correct. I have uh, no relationship by blood or by law to any of the accused or to anyone here. President, uh, before you, your appearance, have you already taken an oath uh, before the Iron Club statue? Witness, 
Yes, témoin. I oui. took a note already. Everything déjà prêté is done. Serment. Tout a été fait. President, Président, now I would like to inform you your rights and obligations. As a witness, in the proceedings before the chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment on which may incriminate you, right against self-incrimination, your obligations. As a witness in the proceedings before the chamber, you must uh, respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties, except where your response or comment to those questions may incriminate you, as the chamber has just informed you of your rights as a witness. You must uh, tell the truth that you have known, heard, seen, remembered, experienced, or observed directly about about an event or occurrence relevant to the questions that the bench or parties pose to you. Mr. Witness, Monsieur have Témoin, you ever been interviewed or have you ever provided déjà any statements to the investigator of the OCIJ if it if that's so, how many times did uh, they happen? Witness, I have been interviewed Témoin. twice, à once reprises. at my house une fois chez and moi. another one in uh, Campot. President, President, thank you. Merci. Before you are here, before the chamber, have you Avant reviewed or did someone read the statement to you that you provided two times to the investigator, one at your house and another one in Comport? Answer. Yes, I have uh, reviewed uh, the documents uh, on some points, uh, but not all of them. Certains and I may have tous. forgotten some other points. President, to your best knowledge, President, à votre connaissance, do the statements you have reviewed uh, correspond to les what you have told the investigators of the OCIJ once at your house and another one in Compot? Answer. Yes, I could uh, recall Réponse. some points. Oui, je me souviens de certains I could éléments. Uh, recall much of them, but uh, not all of them. Je me souviens d'une grande partie de ces éléments, mais pas de tous. Bye. President. President. In accordance with the ni uh, Rule 91 bis of the internal rules, the floor is given first uh, to the co-prosecutors before other parties. The combined time for co-prosecutors and lead co-lawyers for civil parties civil is three sessions. You may now have the floor. Thank you. Mr. President, good morning, Your Honours, Council, Civil Parties, and Mr. Witness. Sir, if you don't understand any of my Monsieur, questions, please si ask me to repeat them. Pas, um, sir, répéter. at one point in your life, Monsieur, did you join a military force? Uh, force, uh, force Answer, I joined the military in 1972. In until 1979. Sir, what, sir, what was the military force that you joined at that time? Answer. I joined the army. Uh, in Comport province, la province and then Compote, in 1975, en 1975 I joined Division 164. 
J'ai rejoint la division 165. Okay, thank you. Just so we're clear, when you say you joined the army in 72, do you mean the Lan Nol army, or which army do you mean? Answer. Originally, I joined the Khmer Rouge military. Au départ, j'ai rejoint les militaires Khmer Rouge. I'm interested, particularly for the purposes of this trial in the period between 1975 and 79, so I'm going to concentrate on those years. You said in 1975 you were a member of Division 164, is that correct? Answer, that's correct. Do you know who was the commander of the division between 1975 and 1979? Answer. From 1975. In 1975, there was not a division yet. Only starting from 1976, there's, there's uh, an establishment of the division, and Tamihmut was the commander of the division based in Kampong Sao. The, this division that you called 164, did it have any other names at any time? Answer, based on my memory, de ce que je me souviens, there was another person named Ta Sarun, Ta Sarun une autre personne. and another person named Ta Nyan. There was also the East uh, Zone named Tadden, and Tadden later on disappeared, and I did not know the reason of his disappearance. Okay, thank you. Um, I don't think you understood my question. I'm sure it's my fault. Let me repeat it. The name of the division, 164, did the division have another name before it was called 164? Avait-elle un autre nom avant de s'appeler Division 164 But oh, there was a... Did you ever know of a Division 3? Question, avez-vous jamais connu la Division 3 But call no man man come. Yes, that was... Oui. That was not Division 3. It Ce n'était pas la Division 3, en fait. A Regiment 3. C'était le Regiment And later 3. on, it was integrated tard, into Division 164. Division, division 164, division under the command of Mirth Mut, you said from 1976 on, uh, can 1976. you tell us was that part of a larger army, of a zone army or any other entity? Yes, the, the division Réponse, oui. was within the, la division était the division of the military zone. Dans la division de What de zone was it a part of, Question. Et if any? Zone est -ce rattaché? Yes, uh, it was within the military zone of Kampong Sound. Oui, c'était dans la zone militaire de Kampong Sound. Have you ever heard of the Army of the Center? Parler de l'armée du centre.
Bạn lữ bàn tay. Yes, I heard. Oui, j'en ai entendu parler. Yes, they are the Central Army. It's the oui, division of 164. La division 164. So can you explain that? Are you saying that Division 164 was part of the Army of the Center? Division 164 faisait partie de l'armée du centre? Yes, Bye. it's part of that. Réponse, oui, si Thank you. Ça, so, from the time that the Khmer Rouge captured Question. Phnom Penh in April 1975, 1975 until the Vietnamese came Penh in January 1979, can you explain the positions you held within the Khmer Rouge military forces? Bạn không bạn 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 Dans le régiment, le canal est occupé. Can you explain what kind of training you had? Any kind of specialized training? Formation avez-vous reçu? Avez-vous reçu un type de formation spécifique? Bad admin take. No, I. Was Réponse, just non. a soldier. I did not uh, participate in any training. Did you only fight on land, or did you also fight from boats, or were you assigned to boats? La terre, ou avez-vous également été déployé à bord de bateaux? Before 1975, I fought on land. But in 1975, I fought in water. Did you receive some training before joining any naval force? But Yes. I received some naval training about once or twice. During those years, 1975 to 79, did you receive any political training? Bad art mean tea? No, I did not. Did your commanders ever talk to you about Question, what the Khmer Rouge policies were or goals? Des politiques Khmer Rouge, des objectifs Khmer Rouge, et quels étaient ces objectifs? He did not Réponse. talk about politics. Ils n'ont pas parlé ou ils ne parlaient pas de politique. I did not know about any of the po those policy. Et je ne savais rien de ces politiques. When you were part of the naval forces, can you explain to us what your job was? What were your orders? Quels étaient les ordres que vous aviez? During the naval fighting in the sea, pendant la bataille navale en mer, from the division to the regiment and order from the regiment to the battalion. So I was in the battalion. I received the order from the regiment. Were you um, um, stationed on boats that Question, patrolled waters off the coast of Cambodia? De bateaux qui patrouillaient les eaux territoriales le long des côtes du Cambodge?
when I was on the boat, it, when, it, when it was night time, I patrolled along the border. Je patrouillais le long de la frontière. Did you receive any orders about what to do if you encountered other boats si in the water? Boats carrying refugees, for example, or fishermen. Par exemple, des bateaux qui transportaient des réfugiés ou des pêcheurs. When I was in the Navy, I was in Battalion 140. There was no such an order. But when I was in the when I was based on the island, if there was the boat from Thailand, si il y avait un bateau there was de Thailand, orders of arrest, and if there was such an order, I went to si make an arrest. Si ordre avait été donné, alors je procédais à l'arrestation. Okay, um, let's go back and let me understand your answer. You said you had these orders when you were on an island. Can you explain what was your job when you were on the first? Which island are you speaking of? De quelle île êtes-vous en train de parler? The original island I was based was Tang Island, and after Tang Island, I was assigned to Pulawais Island. What years were those that you were on these islands? In what year were you posted on these islands? About 1975. In 1975, I was based in Tang Island, and in 1976, I was at Polowai Island. And how long did you stay at Polowai Island? It was. Until 1977, that I left Pulawai Island. Until 1977, that's when I left the island of Pulawai. Where did you go after 1977? And after 1977, where did you go? In 1977, the Anka assigned me to the naval force. Where were you based when you were assigned to the Navy? Et lorsque vous avez été affecté à la marine, où étiez-vous basé? I based at Ochotil Port. Réponse: J'étais dans le port de Ochotil. When you were based on Ochutil, at Ochutil Port, would you patrol in naval vessels waters off the coast of Cambodia? All the fighting boats, uh, they, they, they stay, but there are a number of boats that went out to patrol, and if there, is, if there were any order, and then those boats uh, went out to fight. Did you receive orders to stop other boats that were not part of your Navy, and if they refused to stop, to sink them? At that time, when there was not the coming of the Vietnamese yet, I did not receive 
any order from any Je levels n'ai pas reçu of the Ankara. d'un quelconque niveau de l'Ankara. So you were a soldier in the naval forces and you had no orders. You could just do whatever you wanted. Only when I received the order from the upper level that my force started to go out. If there was no order, we did not dare to do anything. So I understand the time you're talking about. When is it that you said you were saying that you received orders to go out from your upper level? Des ordres, les ordres qui vous donnaient l'instruction de sortir. À quel moment était-ce? I did not receive the order to patrol. Réponse, but, je n'ai pas uh, reçu l'ordre de patrouiller. It was the responsibility of the different group who Mais responsible for patrol. For me, I was in the chasing naval force. We did not go anywhere. Navale, Only when there was any Nous incident nous happening that there was an incident. order for the chase, Alors, chasing naval force to go out to do the work. Are you aware of orders Question to stop motor boats and if they refuse to stop to sink them? bateaux à moteur et si ces bateaux refusaient de s'arrêter alors l'ordre était de les couler. But at that time, experience receiving orders to stop or to sink any ships. You told us about being interviewed in Kampot. That interview took five days, is that right? You told us that interview took five days, is that right? Yes. Oh, no, it was Réponse. only three days, not non, five days. Jours, pas cinq. And Question. you said you uh, reviewed some of those, Et you reviewed those interview records today. Vous dites que vous so I'm vous going to read to you one of your answers Donc, je vais vous lire from the second day, that's E319 slash 23.3.44. And this is your answer number 26 in all three languages. You told the investigator, if we ordered any motorboat to stop and they did not stop on our orders, we could fire and sink it right away. I myself never shot any motorboat myself, but people in my un unit did to shoot at and sink motorboats. These sinkings were carried out following the general orders of the division. And then answer 27, you said, it was a general order of the division to all units. These orders came from the division down to the battalions. Now, sir, is that true, what I just read? Ce que je viens de vous lire, Yes, the order came from the oui. division down to the regiment and the regiment down to the battalion. Au régiment et du régiment au bataillon. So, uh, if you follow et donc, this uh, chain of command, that's correct. Si on suit la chaîne de commandement, c'est exact. When a boat was stopped, did those in your forces on your boat have an order to report to the upper echelon who was on the boat that was stopped. In other words, their ethnicity, who they were. But if there was Réponse. an arrest of motorboat, si there, uh, there was an arrest of uh, motorboat from Thailand. De la Thailand. And if there was such arrest, 
we report to the battalion and the battalion reported to the regiment and the regiment reported further to the division. My question is, did you have to report to the regiment, to the division, who was on the boat? In other words, these are refugees from Vietnam or fishermen from Thailand or Westerners. Did you have to do that kind of report? So it was, uh, yeah, there were reports uh, from one level to another level. If there were arrests of the Vietnamese, and then we reported about the arrests of Vietnamese. If there were, report, if there were arrests of the Thai, we reported about the arrest of the Thai, so it was clear report that went from one level to the upper level. And what were the orders as far as what you were to do with the Vietnamese that you found on board? Concerning the Vietnamese, if there was an order from the division to send those Vietnamese on land, we had to do so. And after that time, afterwards, I did not know where those Vietnamese were sent to. Mais par la suite, je ne sais pas où ces Vietnamiens seraient envoyés. In the next answer on the, in the interview I was just talking about, answer 29, you said the orders were clear on whether they were to be killed on the spot or sent ashore. If those persons captured were Vietnamese soldiers, we had to send them to the shore. Then they would broadcast their confessions via the national radio before they killed them. Is that correct? Do you know that? Yes, exactly. Answer. That is true. C'est exact. So. The orders that were given to kill people on the spot, who were the kinds of people that they ordered you to kill on the spot, on the sea? Tirer à vue, ou de tuer sur le champ, sur mer. D'où venaient ces ordres? Bad Khnom Ad, Dang Aite. I did not know on this point. When I was ordered to make an arrest, I would carry out an order, and I myself never executed anyone. You said that some Vietnamese soldiers were taken and they would broadcast their confessions on the national radio before they killed them. Do you know where it was that they recorded the confessions? Où ces aveux étaient enregistrés? Bad, nhom at ban dang te. I do not know on this point. Réponse, je ne sais pas quoi vous dire sur ce point. Je ne sais pas. In this trial, excuse me, in this first part of this trial, case two one, the third of April two thousand twelve. The commander of S21, Doik, testified, and he was asked at 9.59 in the morning, you mentioned in evidence that Nunchia had asked S21 to record the responses of two Vietnamese prisoners of war per week for broadcast. Do you remember saying that? And Doik answered, thank you. Mr. President, the truth is, on the 8th of January 1979, Brother Noon called me to work. It means that it was after the meeting of the victory of the Revolutionary Army over the Vietnamese Army. Brother Noon asked me to interrogate the Vietnamese war prisoners and recorded their prisoners' confessions. Did you ever hear 
broadcast the confession of anyone that you saw entendu? captured la on the sea? Diffusion d'aveu de personnes que vous aviez vu être arrêtées en mer. Answer. Réponse. I do not know. Je ne sais pas. Regarding this point. Je ne sais pas ce sujet. What happened to people who were taken from the boats, particularly Vietnamese refugees who were taken to shore? First, let me ask, were Vietnamese refugees taken to shore or were they killed? If you know. I am not sure. Let me rephrase the question. First of all, sir, did you yourself ever Monsieur, capture any boats and people in boats? Des gens qui étaient à bord de bateaux. Answer. Réponse. At that time, I myself did not make the arrest. Je n'ai pas fait d'arrestation. Sir, weren't you involved in the capture of Question. Vietnamese refugees? N'avez-vous pas participé à la capture de réfugiés vietnamiens, monsieur? Bad. Réponse. No. No. I was not involved in it. No. Were you on a Question. boat and your boat captured Vietnamese refugees, ce bateau a fait prisonnier des including a man who had a hand amputated? Qui avait Did that happen? Une main amputée. Cela s'est-il produit? Bad no. Answer. Réponse. At that time, I was part of the naval unit already. I saw the incident with my own eyes at Ocean Hill Port when that person was sent ashore. Quand cette personne a été amenée sur la terre ferme. Le président. President. Thank you, International Co Prosecutor. It is now a break of time. The Chamber will take a short break from now until 10.30. Court officer, please assist the witness during the break time in the waiting room and please invite him back into the hearing room at 10.30 together with the duty counsel. Suspension of audience.